Hello scholars, in this video we're going to work on the main idea and key details in stories that we read. Now, before we get started on reading our story, let's review what the main idea and the key details are. So, the main topic is what the passage is mostly about. So, when you read something, you need to think about what is the main idea? What did I mainly just read about? Let's see, so that was the main idea is what the passage is mostly about. Now, the key details are details and information about the main idea. So the details help you learn more about the main idea. So let's get started and let's re read, starting right here, Home Sweet Home, a short little paragraph on the main idea, or a short little paragraph, and then we're gonna figure out what the main idea and key details are. So we'll start with our title and read along with me, Home Sweet Home. Many early settlers in America lived in log cabins. They lived, ate, and slept in their log cabins. Log cabins were built from the trees. Trees were cut into parts to make logs. Curved notches were made at the ends of the logs. The logs were put together to make the walls of the cabin. A roof was made from rough boards cut from the logs. So now that we've read this short little story, it was super short for us. We're gonna think about what was the main topic. I believe that the main topic, what the story was mostly about was log cabins as homes. Now, the details, so that's what it was mostly about. Do you realize I didn't put anything super specific, but just log cabins or homes. Now, what are two details about it? Hmm. Just like any old home, you eat and sleep in log cabins. And now another detail I could put was log cabins were made from trees. And now I have two key details about log cabins. So the story was mainly about log cabins and then some specific things about the log cabins were that you eat and sleep in the log cabin and that the log cabin were made from trees. Okay, now we're gonna read a new story and fill out a graphic organizer that looks like this on the main idea and details of it. So let's go back to our story and read it along with me. This one's a little bit longer than our last one. Walking to the New World. Long ago, ice covered much of North America. At that time, a bridge of land connected Asia and North America. People walked over this strip of dry land into Alaska. They were following herds of animals. The people settled in different places. Some slowly went south, over time, they made different nations in the Americas. Some scientists think people came to America even earlier. They think people reached the West Coast by boat. Ancient tools have been found there. These tools might show that people arrived before there was a land bridge. But people who study the past have not found much proof of this idea. These people were the first Americans. All Native Americans are related to them. Scientists discovered they first came from Asia. They split into many groups as they settled America. They made ways of life we are still learning about today. Okay, so I'm over on my graphic organizer right now, and for the name, I put the name of our story, which is Walking to the New World, and now I'm going to think about the main idea. What was this story mainly about? I think that it was mainly about the, 
I think that it was mainly about the main idea of the story was mainly about how let's see, there we go how people first came to the Americas. So that's what the story was mainly about. Now I need to find two details, two specific things about that to help support my main idea. So I'm going to go back and look at my story and let's see two things. Ancient tools have been found there. That's pretty cool and that's a cool detail too. So specific things. We know this because ancient tools have been and ancient means they're very old. Now, let's go look for a second key detail. Let's see, down here, it says scientists discovered they first came to Asia. So that's another detail about the first people that came to the Americas. They first came from Asia. And that helps explain to me about the people who first came to the Americas knowing the detail that they first came from Asia. All right, so we're gonna read one more little story and I want you this time when we're finished reading it, you'll start to think of some key ideas and details and then come back to us. So, who were the mound builders? Long ago, Native Americans lived near the Ohio and Mississippi rivers. These people are known as the mound builders. They carried earth in baskets, then they piled it high with their hands. Over time, they made huge earth mounds. Some mounds were used to bury the dead. The mounds have different shapes. Some people built mounds shaped like cones. One of the highest mounds is almost 70 feet tall. Some people built mounds shaped like circles or squares. They made some of the largest mounds in the world. The mounds were built by 2,000 years ago. Other people built mounds shaped like animals. One mound looks like a winding snake. It is about 1,300 feet long. Still, other people made mounds with flat tops. The people built homes on top of the mounds. These mounds were once part of a large, powerful city. So now I want you to think about the main idea in details and make a chart with just your main ideas and two details listed underneath of it. So pause your video and do that and then come back and see if they match up with, some, with the main idea that I came up with and some of my details. So you should be pausing your video right now to do that. All right, so if you're watching this now, that means you've paused it to come up with your main idea and details about who were the mound builders. So I came up with the main ideas that Native Americans built mounds, because the whole story was about those different mounds. And some of the details I have were they put mounds in different shapes, and I could have made it more specific and said they built one like snakes or in circles. And then another detail I had is that they built the mounds with dirt and used their hands. Some of your details might be different because that story was full of lots and lots of details about mounds. Okay, so for today's assignment, I'm gonna assign you a story in reading A to Z called Animals, Animals, and I want you to read that story and then come up with the main idea and a list of details. You can make the graphic organizer that we made, and I'll post that as well in Google Classroom, and then send me a picture of your work. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.